Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the open set. In the earlier video we have discussed about the metric space. So we are extending that topic and we are defining open set in a metric space. So coming to the definition of open set. Firstly, we are defining open set in a simple language. A set is open if it doesn't contain any of its boundary points. For example, we are taking a simple set in a real line. Our set is basically 2, 5. This is an open set. If it is a closed set, we will denote like this. In number line, it will be like this. So here 2 is one of the boundary point, 5 is another boundary point. In this case also 2 is a boundary point, 5 is another boundary points. But in this set, this set includes all the points between 2 and 5 but not 2 and 5. This set includes all the points between 2 and 5 including 2 and 5. This set will be including 4.9999 but not 5. In this sense also it will be including 2.00001 but not 2. So a set is called open if it doesn't contain any of it is boundary point. So this set is called open because it doesn't contain any of it is boundary point. This is in one dimension. In two dimension also let's take a set like circle. So that circle includes all the points but not it is boundary point if it is like that it includes all the boundary point as well then it is called closed set now let's define open set in a mathematical language for that we should be familiar with some concept related to open ball let us start by open ball first the open ball denoted by bx not r x is a center r is the radius in the two dimension this will be a circle with center x naught and r radius in the three dimension it will be a ball or sphere with x as center r as radius the open ball is defined all the x that is element of x where the distance between the center and any x will be less than strictly less than r so we are taking a x naught here this is r so all the points where distance between this point and x naught will be less than r is open ball now let us define the open set using the concept of open ball so we have a set x then we have a set y as a subset of x y is said to be open if for all x element of y there is an r that is strictly greater than zero such that open ball around that x is also subset of y then y is called open intuitively we can say in another language y is open I am taking a y here. y is open if any x that is element of y we can move a small distance away from x in any direction without leaving the set y then set y is called as open. So we have defined what is the open that is the set which doesn't include the boundary points. We can also define open set in another mathematical language let us see how it is for that we should be familiar with the concept of interior interior is nothing but all the points inside the set in mathematical language we have a set x and we have a set y a point x is called an interior of y if there is an r that is strictly greater than zero such that ball around that x is also inside the y all this x and it is ball are inside the y let us take another point in the boundary if i am taking a ball around this point 
this ball will not be inside the y so this x is not an interior point of y the collection of all interior point of y is called the interior of y denoted by y naught so i am taking the same example before so what is this set here set is basically all the points between 2 and 5 excluding 2 and 5 2 and 5 excluding 2 and 5 what is the y naught here I mean interior of y that is also all the point between 2 and 5 because this 5 is not interior of this set y if I am taking a ball around this 5 it is not included in the y so 5 is not an interior of y again 2 is also not an interior of y so what is the interior of y all the points between 2 and 5 excluding 2 and 5 so basically we can define open set in another language a set y is a open if y is equal to y naught here y is equal to y naught so y is said to be open a set y is open if y is equal to y naught 